we're going to add two angles together, and we're going to start by copying the first angle. Remember, the word construct means you must use your compass, and as with any construction, you're going to start with a baseline. So I'm going to choose baseline. I'm going to come down here. Hopefully, I'll have enough room to do everything. So I'm going to draw my baseline. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my compass. I'm going to move it up, and I'm going to extend it any given length, somewhere where it's going to make an arc on the angle. So I'm just going to extend the tip of my pencil, so it's going to, I'm going to be able to swing this compass so it will hit this arc at two places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swing a random arc. Now, it's very important that you keep the compass setting the same. Come down to your new baseline and swing that same arc. So that's what we have so far. Now, if I label this point, I'm going to call this just point X right now. If you look here, that X corresponds. They're both the same distance from the vertex. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from this point X on my original up to where the arc intercepted the second ray. So again, I'm going to grab my compass, and I'm going to extend the distance between the tip of my compass and the tip of my pencil on my compass. So it measures that distance. And I'm going to go ahead and change colors so you can see that that's a different arc. Okay, so I've measured from the intersection from one ray in the arc to the second ray in the arc. I'm going to leave a little mark there. Now, I'm going to come down. Sorry. I'm going to come down to my new X. I'm going to pivot on that X because it's the corresponding point to the original. And I'm going to mark that distance. Okay, so what I have is if I call this point, we'll just call it point Y, this is point Y. Those two points correspond. Okay, I have a vertex, I have a point of intersection. I can now complete the copying of that first angle. So I'm going to go from my vertex through that point of intersection, and I've copied angle 1. Okay. But I'm trying to construct angle CAT, so it's measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. So I'm going to need to copy angle 2 as well. I'm going to go grab my compass. This time I'm going to put it at a different length. You can choose to do the same length as your original arc, but I'm to avoid confusion. I'm going to extend it wider, and I'm going to change colors. So this line is going to be black. Okay, I'm going to swing. So that arc hits both rays of angle 2. Now keeping my compass setting the same, I'm going to come down to my vertex, and I'm going to swing that same arc. Now I'm swinging it out past angle 1 because I know that angle 2 is going to go past angle 1. Now I'm going to label some points here randomly. Um, let's aim. Let's label this um, Z and Y. So this point here is going to correspond with point Z. Now I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to pivot on Z and measure to Y the two, from the, along the arc from one ray to the other in angle 2. So I'm going to pivot on y, on Z and measure to Y. I'm going to set my compass setting so the width is correct. And I'm going to change pencil color again. This one's going to be a light, lighter blue. I'm going to mark that. Now I'm going to take my compass, keeping my setting the same. I'm going to go pivot on Z. 
I'm going to mark that distance. So now I've recreated the point Y. Now I can connect from my vertex to my point of intersection and I've copied angle 2. So I'm going to label this angle 2. Now I'm looking for measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 and I'm supposed to call it CAT. Well A is the center letter, that means that's the vertex of my angle. So A is going to go there, C is going to go on one of my rays, and, and T is going to go on one of my other rays. And I've completed copying two angles and adding them together.